we don't have to do the resistance. There's lots of people who will do that. Lots. The, I, the, the people who are going to go through this mm -hmm. are people who open to allow everything to happen and don't resist anything, so what including somebody else. What happens to everybody else? Yeah, at the end of this. Um, well, um, that's a real good question. I'm not completely qualified to answer because I haven't been on the other side of all this. But I do know what I can see around me, and that is that there are, in a, in a plant, for instance, there are certain parts of a plant that go on to propagate more plants, the seeds. And the seeds are pieces of that plant that decided to be seeds. Some of the plant decided to be a leaf or a root or a stalk. That's where they felt they fit in. That part of that plant's consciousness. What happens to all those other parts? Like the stalk and the roots and the leaves. It gets to be mulch. This very useful. It goes in and builds the ground and supports other seeds for other cycles. Um, we're not the first ones to go through this whole, this is 16 billion years, but time is uh, mental, doesn't even exist. This 16 billion years, there were other people who went through this whole cycle before us, other consciousness. Now we call them angels, because they're not limited to physical. They already went through this, these, this graduation ceremony. And we're coming up on it. Not everybody makes it through it in one time, you know. So, so does the is the difference between becoming cosmic manure, so to speak, and actually uh, <laughs> actually go, actually ascending to the next level? Is the, is the difference contained in the retention of a sense of self? A sense of awareness, because when your yeah, energy is recombined into the energy of the universe, <laughs> mm -hmm. then your existence just becomes a memory of the collective consciousness. But if you ascend beyond that, do you maintain your individuality within the creative? I, the I'm not qualified to answer your question. Uh, I would hope so, but I'm, so I just that, so that's the difference. Yeah. How much can you allow? Because what it comes down to is how much you can, can you allow in your own experience, of your experience, you know? Of how much can you allow yourself to create your own experience? Allow, 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 allow. Remember, we're all doing this. <coughs> Collectively, we're creating the situation. But we are putting our own two cents in. You know, that we're, it's our investment. We're paying attention. That's our investment. And the more you can just allow things to occur and not resist, then the more you can be in your intuition, so the more you can be in that flow. And things just show up the way you intend them. Are there a couple more questions? There was a question. Oh, I personally am psyched about Era. Yeah. I'm really psyched. And my question is the galactic period that we're in now, will, does that mean we'll see more of our galactic neighbors? Oh, yeah. By the time we get all the way over here, we'll have a, a consciousness that spans this entire galaxy. And since that's a year, I mean, this year. Well, no, this is this is 2010. Oh. Okay. This, this, uh, this actually begins in 2010, then this cycle starts February. 10th, 2011, and runs for 260 days. So we have to wait that long. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're waiting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, on what she's saying there, but perhaps it would be good to talk about June 1st. Yeah. Oh, well, June 1st is, remember this demonstration they did earlier? Oh, what year? Uh, this year. This year. Here's all the power sitting there. Here comes the consciousness of ethics. And it is looming, don't you think? Yeah. Looming over power. I mean, they're going, uh, uh, you know. They're not ready to turn around yet. Meanwhile, we have. We can see it. But they can't. But this is June 1st. Boom. June 1st is the absolute middle point of this whole cycle. And it comes 
bam, just like a two by four, this boom. And then ethics goes, keeps going, just bulldozing all this power over kind of consciousness right out of the way. It's going to be traumatic for some people yeah. and exalted for everyone else. Separation they're talking about. Boy, the cleaving. Oh, yeah. Yes. June 1st. So, so June 1st is when that, that boom happens, yeah. There, there's, there's people that hold to the whole conspiracy theories, New World Order, all this kind of stuff. And I think what I'm seeing happening is that as people become more and more aware of it, it's harder and harder for the people that are trying to pull it off to pull it off. Yes. So it's the, is, is that the ethics is going to crush that, that whole thing? Certainly will. These yeah. guys have diabolical plans. I'll just tell you right out, they want 80% of your debt. Eighty percent is the plan. Well, chemtrails. Are chemtrails, soy, uh, aspartame, um, uh, fluoride, Coke. just well, Coca-Cola with you know, and uh, all that. You know, it's they got a plot and a plan. They want to get rid of eighty percent of the people. On the other hand, creation has a much grander plan and no big disasters in mind. So these guys have a problem. They got all these plans. I, I mean, I hear, here I am. I've had millions of plans. And about that many of them turned out the way I thought they would. Uh, you know? <laughs> so, what makes these guys any better? It's that old saying 99% of everything you were afraid of didn't happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, these guys have horrible, draconian plans. That's all they can see now. They got to cover their tracks, you understand? They got to get rid of anybody who would consider them, you know, consider them out of line. So they, they're, they're just racing away and don't care if they get caught all with all the stuff they're doing. They don't even care. Actually, they kind of want to get caught because that'll make people more angry and willing to kill each other. And they want the prestige of the, everybody knowing that they are the ones that did it. Yeah, the diabolical beasts. So yeah, the they want them. And so you're going to see stuff. It's going to be a test to allow. <laughs> <laughs> really are. So do you suppose, June first, it's going to be more of an exposure on the media? Mm. Yeah. And it already jail, is. Jail time, all that. The, these, oh. the, the media has already changed track. Have you know? You guys watch the news? I haven't noticed. No, I, I haven't on noticed. TV. <laughs> yeah, because I know. The media. I, I understand. I, but yeah. see, I'm supposed to watch the news. <laughs> yeah, and, you, and you don't watch the talking heads. You read the crawl at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you will get a wonderful education. It, yeah, uh, yeah. It's uplifting. Now that you know this, mm -hmm. you kind of know what to look for. Yeah, yeah. And you can see all this stuff popping up. In the word ethics. Count how many times the word ethics shows up in one day. I mean, it's just <laughs> all over the place with all these investigations and this and that and the explosions, the, the, the whistleblowers that are coming out. Yeah, it's tremendous. Yes, ma'am. Soy, that's the back of your permit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know about the opinions about many things, but what's the diabolical plan to do with soy. Well, soy turns out to be a carcinogen, <clears throat> and the, the uh, chemicals it produces in your body turn into a brain poison. Mm -hmm. Soy does? Soy. Wow. Yeah. Well. What's that? Non-GMO. Oh, yeah. As organic as it can get. It's the plant itself is a brain poison. On our webpage, under the health section, there's 3,500 articles that are on web page but they're categorized. Mm -hmm. And under the health section, there's a whole expose on soy and the marketing machine that built it as a health uh, product. Oh, gee. Mm. Uh, what about whey? Whey? Whey seems to be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yes? Crop circles. Do you any information about uh, Well, uh, who's really making them? Yeah, well, um, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but I know it's a communication, uh, and that's life. I mean, what what life does is it communicates. 